Hi, Assalamualaikum and good morning. Uh, on behalf of Group A of Camp Class Camp E2, I like to welcome you today. Uh, for those of you who don't already know my know me, my name is Ayuni. Uh, I'm glad to be here with you today. Uh, so today. Uh, our group will present Article 8 Corporate Governance and Financial Stability in Islamic Banking. So, uh, our group members consist of five uh, Nur Nadia, Siti Handina, Aida Nasrin, Ayuni, Nabil Haika. So, the first segment of this research describes the background of Islamic banking in the whole worldwide and in Malaysia and the principle of Islamic banking. Then it will be continued with the literature review, research objective, research methodology, finding, uh, group review and significance of the study. So for the introduction, uh, many countries around the world have seen a, a fast increase in the size and number of Islamic banking. Although Islamic bank over assets are relatively minor in comparison to total banking assets around the world, their growth pace is tremendous, particularly in Middle East and Southeast Asia. So existing theoretical studies have not provided clear perspective on whether on how uh, Islamic bank uh, vary from conventional banks in terms of banking aspect such as stability. Uh, empirical studies, on the other hand, have not uh, been as well developed as theoretical study. Uh, different financial systems that support or restrict the establishment of Islamic Bank will make comparing data from different countries more challenging. Uh, as a result, it is advised that a cross-country analysis should, should take appropriately control for heterogeneity among countries in order to draw reliable conclusion about the Islamic banking sector's financial stability. Now, I will explain about our lit literature review. Numerous studies have attempted to explain about corporate governance and financial stability in Islamic banking. European Central Bank in 2005 found that financial system stability requires that the principal components of the system, including financial institutions, markets, and infrastructures, are jointly capable of absorbing adverse disturbance. It also requires that the financial system facilitates a smooth and efficient reallocation of financial resources from savers to investors, that financial risk is assessed and priced accurately and that risks are efficiently managed. Moreover, there is an important conceptual distinction to be made between liquidity support and solvency support. Ellen et al. in 2006. Later, Mongi Rasot in 2018 extend their analysis and reveal that the Z-score is negatively related to the upper limit of the bank's insolvency probability in order to estimate this probability as a function of a number of both macro and micro indicators. However, studies on financial stability in Islamic banking were scarce. Thus, this study aims to investigate the relationship between financial stability on financial organization or institution. Thank you. So next slide is research objective. Uh, this research study had the following general and specific objective. To the general objective of this research is to examine the relationship between corporate governance and financial stability of the Islamic banking institution in Malaysia. Uh, the specific objectives are to calculate the risk of Islamic banking institution via Zex score method in addition to study the impact of the corporate governance variable on the stability of Islamic banking institution. Uh, therefore, this research aims to examine whether this uh, stability issue could threaten the stability of the entire financial institution. Next slide. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Hanan Binti Irani. My message number is 1180749. I'm from KME1. Okay, for the research methodology and approach. For this research paper, they use the data technique which they use the Z-score indicator technique. 
So by using the Zexco indicator, they able to measure the level of stability of the Islamic banking, and they also able to indicate the distance from uh, an insolvency, combining the accounting measure of profitability, leverage, and also the volatility of the Islamic bank. So by looking at the bank capital position and also its asset portfolio characteristic and other, the researcher is able to look at the probability of the failure which indicate the stability and also the soundness of the Islamic bank. So for using this Z-score indicator, the researcher used a restricted sample which combined of the 16 uh, Islamic bank in Malaysia by using the data from 2005 to 2015. Okay, for the next slide, it's mentioned that to complete the equation and for the regression result, the researcher I use the generalized least square random effect model and also the fixed effects model to check the robustness of the result and also they use the ordinary least square estimation. So, they use this is because to provide the empirical evidence. So, the best model is selected based on the Hausmann test. So, what is the Hausmann test? So, the Hausmann test is to determine whether the coefficient for the two estimates fixed and random are statistically different. So, last but not least is mentioned in the research paper that this study is also included the Sharia Sports size in addition to the size of the board's member and the proportion of the independent directors in the board. So, the greater the number of sharing as board member, the higher the level of stability and the financial stability disclosure as the capacity of the monitoring increase. So, that's all for the research methodology. Okay, next are uh, the finding from the article. Uh, so, the study found that the percentage of independent members in the board of director has a significant positive impact on the financial stability of the Islamic banking. However, the SBS and the size of board are found to have uh, no influence towards financial stability. So, uh, regarding to the effect of the governance variable, the coefficient estimated indicate that the impact of the BOD and the Shariah board is not significant. These variables do not seem to be determinant on uh, to be determinant of Z score. The no significant effect of the two uh, board can be explained by the fact that their current their current practice is not effective to control the financial stability of Islamic banking. We note that the percentage of the uh, of independent members in the BOD which reach 50% have a significant positive impact on the financial stability of the Islamic uh, banking in Malaysia. The estimated coefficient on an independent board has the effective sign and is significant on at the 0.05 level or better. The result are uh, document that Z score is positively related to an independent board. This result are uh, consistent with Bochraj and Singhupta who find that firm with a greater proportion of independent outside director on the board have a higher uh, rate bond rating. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aidana Sriam Benti Mustafa, matrix number 1180750. So today I would like to talk about the group review for this article but before that I would like to state my review about this article and then we go to the implication of the uh, banks. So basically, this article uses individually calculated z-score to measure and it is inherently biased as its model insolvency probability is focused on individual financial institutions to estimate upper limits of an individual's bank's probability of insolvency implied by macro and micro indicators. So the solution is, don't use individual financial institution to make a comparison but use more than one financial institution to get the accurate data and to be more unbiased. 
According to the findings, the presence of independent members on the board is critical as the number of independent directors determines the board's efficacy in giving direction and advice to the Islamic banking management. Aside from that, all independent directors must be serious and demonstrate uh, effective duties in order to guarantee that the board maintains a significant degree of independence in thinking and action. Last but not least, all committees are led by persons who are not members of the committee. A minimum of five members should make out the nomination committee, with at least four of them being non-executive directors. In a nutshell, the findings show that raising the amount of the Sharia board does help Islamic banking in Malaysia improve their financial stability. So that's all from us. Thank you. So, this study has a number of important consequences for Islamic banks, particularly those that are implementing financial stability policies vigorously. It has been observed that the more people in an organization, the more successful the management becomes. According to the hypothesis, three hypotheses are highlighted to enhance financial stability, which is sharing up what size, Board of Directors size and Board of Independent Directors, all of which have a good relationship with Islamic banking's financial stability. Furthermore, the factors of IB's financial stability in Malaysia may be extended to other features of the SP, such as educational background, Sharia scholars, financial knowledge, and the degree of independence of SB members. So, for the conclusion, this study is set out to investigate the relationship between the corporate governance mechanism and the financial stability of Islamic Bank in Malaysia. Uh, using the empirical method of Z score, the research tried to explain the insolvency by several factors. Uh, it seemed desirable to incorporate the effect of the corporate governance indicator. Uh, Islamic Bank underlie the guideline of the Sharia as the unique and global legislation for Muslim, uh, in which interest and speculation are prohibited and financial contracts are based on real asset and on paid as. Uh, in, in this research, uh, this research and pre uh, this research empirically uh, analyzed the influence that the corporate governance indicator have on the financial stability of the Islamic Bank in Malaysia to examine the supervisory and the disciplining power. Uh, the results obtained uh, appear initially clear and readable. Uh, this result confirmed that increasing the size of the SP is not accommodative to increasing the financial stabilities of the IPS in Malaysia. So that's all from us, Group 8. Thank you.